Hi everybody out there in Artland, this is Carl Altsetter and today I'm going to talk about creating Kirby Crackle. Now I'm sure most of you out there are familiar with Jack Kirby. He is creator of the Fantastic Four, X-Men, the New Gods. He's probably the most influential comic book artist um, basically ever. And uh, one of the trademark uh, effects that he used was this bursting energy effect. And today I'm going to show you how I think is the best way to create Kirby Crackle. So first off, um, I like to make Kirby Crackle with a Sharpie. Uh, some people will use brushes, and um, which I think would be really difficult. Some people may use crocals, but for me, Kir Kirby Crackle is easiest with a Sharpie. And I like to use a double-sided Sharpie. So this is a, you know, a fine-pointed side for the little tiny pieces of Crackle, and then a thicker uh, side to create the larger pieces. So um, let's talk about how to create Kirby Crackle in a way that sort of has sense to it. Even though it's energy and it's meant to look sort of random, it's also good to have a theory behind it. So, here's a little sketch I did, uh, kind of a dark side type character. And so I'm gonna take the cap off. And um, I've already created, as you can see here, a form, a basic idea of how I want the Kirby Crackle to go. And um, as far as theory goes, you have to imagine that uh, this character is putting out so much energy that matter and air and the particles in the air around them are sort of uh, breaking apart as they come close to the amount of energy that this character is uh, emitting. So um, what I like to do is begin filling in the sort of shadowing on the character, give a basic core shadow to him. Uh, in this case, you want to make it so that it looks like energy is literally coming from the core of this character. So I'm going to fill in the blacks really quickly. Do the eyes. Make sure that there's a, give them a little bit of a mysterious look because that's a Kirby trademark, the core shadowing that gives the characters a sense of power. Uh, Literal power coming, literally power coming from the character themselves. They are the energy source in, in the case with uh, a lot of the Kirby stuff. So, um, okay, basically we have the core shadow in. And so what I like to start doing is imagine that uh, instead of imagining that the circles themselves, the little Kirby Crackle balls, uh, make up their own energy stream. You have to sort of think that it goes from dark, dark to light as it gets closer. So you start with some little small crackles, and I like to sort of group them almost like little planets, little uh, little tiny solar systems that are breaking apart. And as you go. As you can see here, you begin to follow the guidelines you have, but you don't actually have the circles do that. They just they create negative space. So as the particles come together, you are creating the light actually is formed by the black shapes, the little tiny black shapes. They're sort of peeling off of him. And, you know, I like to sort of break up the line art around where the energy is emanating from. It sort of edits out the line because the light is breaking it apart. So I'm just going to focus on this one side. And cut into it and you see here you're beginning to see a shape and that's the shape you really want to resonate with the viewer because you want that to be something that takes on a life of its own and it sort of has a random quality to it 
and uh, you know you can go in there and shrink up some of the, the little openings to give it a sense that it's breaking apart and it's such a fierce energy that it's just ready to bust out of the page and I think that's part of what made Kirby Kirby's work so compelling is that so dynamic but not just dynamic from a figural standpoint it was dynamic in every way from the composition of the panels to the way he did uh, mechanical devices that would lead your eye around the page and the way he would spot blacks in a way that would um, although they may not have been accurate from a logical lighting perspective they more than made up for it with the sense of dynamics that they added to each panel. Um, and I think I think there's something to be said for that. Uh, obviously, he's so well respected, it's, it's, uh, it's definitely something that works. So as you can see here, as you get closer, these shapes are beginning to take form. And we're beginning to get some nice Kirby crackle. Hey, that's not looking too bad. So, uh, that's one way to start doing it. And then, uh, you've used use a Sharpie. And then what I like to do is use a whiteout pen. And what I like to do with it, shake it up. And use it to dig into the blacks a little bit. So you start doing that. And uh, it adds a more, an even more random quality to it. So you're, you're, you're sort of using the white to create even more dynamic elements, negative space, inside the black parts. So that's the basic idea of how to do it. Um, I'll be posting a finished drawing uh, after the video, so uh, keep watching and you'll see what the final product looks like. If you have any questions, drop me a line, uh, drop me a message in uh, the comment section, and if you have any suggestions for other videos, feel free to leave those suggestions there. And uh, good luck and good art.